Hello guys, you're welcome to the channel. My name is Yawa Simpi Zachere and this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Aceda House Commodities. Now remember, Aceda House Commodities is a mixed trading entity and we have taken our time over the past 5 to 10 years to study the market of Ghana and the mixed trading trends in Ghana. Now should you need any inquiries concerning mixed trading or anything about the mixed value chain of Ghana, we are the best people to speak with, pick up our numbers and let's talk. And I'm speaking to poultry farmers, I'm speaking to animal feed producers, I'm speaking to fish farmers. Now, if you need maize in large quantities for any production, and even beer producers, beer manufacturing companies in Ghana, pick up our numbers and speak with us, or get in touch with us any way possible. Now, in today's video, Joy News made a report last Friday about cashew, the cashew industry. And per their report, Ghana is losing 30 to 100 million dollars every year because we are unable to process the cashew nuts. I repeat, Ghana is losing 30 to 100 million dollars. And the reason is because we are unable to, you know, process the cashew nuts that are produced here in the country. Now, this is the problem at hand. This is the situation that, you know, the country is facing. And you know, on this channel, we don't just highlight the situation or the problem. We also bring the opportunities that are, you know, available in the problem, in the situation right because a successful person you and i know is someone who has identified problems and is providing solutions you know to to meet those problems all right so i'll play i'll play the video um in a, in a in a short while but before then let's look at the cashew industry we all know that we are in the month of march and in the month of march is also the peak for cashew harvesting. This month of March is the peak for cashew harvesting. If you have a cashew farm, you know what I'm talking about. This is when the, the, um, the seed is harvested. Cashew is harvested in Ghana. The peak of it, right, it starts somewhere in late January and then February, it will become small, small. In March, it's the peak. April is also peak. Then when you're going to May, June, you realize that it will be, you know, finishing from the system. It will be diminishing from the system. Now, we also know that the amount of cashew produced, over 70, 80% of it is being purchased by expatriates, companies that are not indigenous. I mean, companies that are from, you know, other countries such as China, such as India, Dubai. All right. And so what happens is that when they buy it, these, these companies, they don't make permanent or long-term investments, you know, or infrastructure in the company, uh, in the country, you know, concerning this uh, business dealing. What do I mean by that? If you are talking about long-term, you know, um, infrastructure or long-term development in, in, in the space of agribusiness, in the space of cashew for this matter, for the, for, for, for the sake of our conversation today, what you realize is that we will be talking about building warehouses to keep storage issues. Secondly, we'll be building factories Factories that are going to add value to the to the grains will be, and these factories, you know, could be wine production companies or wine production factories. Okay, wine because if you take the fruit, you know, the cashew fruit, it can be used for producing wine, right, and other drinks. Now we can we we can also be talking about fuel. Okay, fuel that. We use this the the shells the shells you know the husk or the shells 
of the you know of the seed it's also used for that now for companies that intend to do long-term investment okay we'll be talking about these things all right and then we we'll, we can also you know be talking about you know the direct processing the, the processing the 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 seed for direct consumption the seed itself Okay, it is very, very consumed. A lot of people in, in Asia, in, I know in Dubai it's a, it's a hot cake, but in Ghana too, it's very expensive and it's very nutritious. Okay, so when we are talking about long-term investment, we are talking about building factories, you know, to add value, you know, to process these cashew nuts or cashew fruits, to add value to it, you know, before exportation. When this happens, when you add value before exportation, what you have done is that you have you, you have increased you know the its potential in terms of revenue okay so what i was saying that brought us to this point is that these companies that buy majority of the sea in ghana they are expatriates and they are foreign companies and when they buy them they ship this this um they ship the cashew directly out of the country okay so all that the country is getting is the cost of the you know the the cost of the cashew i mean buying the cashew nuts directly the fruit goes to waste the shells i mean they take away all the the the, the, the seed right so no value addition it's just the cost of it so if if a kilo of it is bought for three cd for four cd for ten cds that is all it's gone all right so in order to curb this what we can do and the opportunities the business opportunities that i'm bringing you know that that i'm highlighting for anybody who wants to go into you know that sector is the pro is providing solutions to the you know the problems i have highlighted you know one is the provision of warehouses or investing in warehouses two is investing in you know um infrastructure such as factories pro processing factories right so these are these are you know sectors in the cashew value chain that is an opportunity that is a business opportunity that anybody and i and i recommend this to Ghanaians right can invest in because we all know that like i said earlier these foreign companies don't intend to build factories they don't intend to build factories what they intend to do is to come buy and send them all right this thing has happened to the cocoa industry we have sat here year after year decade after decade and it is happening to the um the, um the cocoa industry now it is it is coming to the cashew industry too and now we have a full report from joy joy news that ghana currently loses between 30 to 100 million dollars because of these problems all right whenever people see problems whenever the masses see problems you and i who have an eye for business and agribusiness for that matter we see opportunities now these are the opportunities that i'm highlighting for you okay building these factories and you know establishing warehouses building warehouses you know and building these factories these are opportunities so take opportunities take advantage of them and you could you could be you know you could be benefiting from this loss this potential this large loss that we are experiencing these millions of dollars that are going you know that are going for lack of a better word going waste you could be in a position to benefit from them you could be in the position to make some huge sums of money from them all right even in the trade of it okay in the trade of it it is a huge opportunity i'll make a video about how cashew is traded in ghana and anybody who is interested you can take you know that opportunity we have the information you can link up with this and get it but we'll make a video right after this one okay so per 
per the you know the report of joy news this is what we at ashko tv has has fished out this is what we fished out of you know the problems that are that have been highlighted you know in this report i'll bring you the report right after this and i would like to end here by saying that whenever, whenever there are these problems i mean policy makers Ghanaian policy makers our parliaments you know our ministers you know you have to take a look at a, a look at this because this is not only going to you know bring this revenue it's also going to provide jobs okay because these factories they are going to hire you know labor all right so it is not only going to bring this revenue and foreign exchanges it is also going to bring out jobs for the youth all right so policy makers make it a point you know for for a higher percentage you know make it a law that these expatriates these foreign companies they can't just come and buy anything they want all right they can come and buy up to a certain percentage or up to you know yeah a certain percent percentage of the total produce that uh, you know it, the, that are generated here the, the total produce that we get annually all right so thank you for watching after after the the report i'm sure um that'll be all until we meet in the next one which will be a video on how to trade cashew how to be a cashew trader in ghana we know that ghana is likely to lose more than a hundred million dollars in additional revenues due to not possessing all the raw cashew nuts produced in the country they're small in this report the Ghanaian cashew industry is widely considered by many cashew industry experts as one of the most promising in Africa. Ghana currently produces about 200 tons of raw cashew nuts, according to official data from the Ministry of Food and Agriculture, and is among the best quality cashew nut producers in the world. But the sector over the years has been bedeviled by so many challenges. A lot of difficulties in terms of, you know, improving their livelihoods, in terms of income, earning income, in terms of getting themselves employed, you know, to be able to put food on the table, you know, very, very great challenge. And as, you know, people, as human beings, our main, you know, uh, uh, I think source of earnings, should, you should either be employed or you can be self-employed. Maybe as a farmer or as you know an entrepreneur engage in some kind of business according to the ghana export promotion authority in 2021 it is estimated that ghana loses between 30 million dollars to 100 million dollars every year in additional revenues due to not processing all the raw cashew nuts produced in the country experts are worried about the persistent challenges confronting farmers and the, the state of processing plants in ghana is nothing to write home about Virtually all the processing plants have closed down, except a few that are a few that are producing few thousands. In fact, currently Ghana exports 95, almost 95 percent of all its production as raw nuts, and it is not good for the industry. And the reason being that our processes, processing capacity is now gone down, and uh, our processors also don't have the needed finance to stock the nuts for the whole year and therefore those farmers also have to sell to people who can buy and pay them and that is a challenge the processors are facing if the processors have finance especially from uh, the financial institutions that will support them then they can process throughout the year but if a processor taking a loan at 35 45 55 percent it's no go zone it is nothing to write home about it will, it is that is what is really 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 collapsing the industry we don't have long-term finance for the processing sector and that is a big challenge the ghana cashew council alluded that although ghana's raw cashew nuts enjoys distinct advantages over other producers challenges such as high raw cashew nut prices and lack of access to affordable finance remain key impediment factors in the underutilization of the country's processing factories to generate additional revenues. We won't say we have been neglected because all these years that we have been running, the uh, Ministry of Agriculture has supported us in the research, in the distribution, and in the 
even the propagation. But if it is, if there's any place that has been regretted, it's from the financial institution. The financial institutions don't really understand the cashew sector. And for that matter, they are not, they are not making long-term finance available. If you give a, 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 a trader a, a, a loan at 45%, turnover one month, and you give that same loan to a processor, turnover one year, the, in, the processing company will collapse. We have been engaging with, the, with some of the financial institutions for them to understand really the culture of cashew processing. Some have understood, but they are yet to make the impact of releasing funding for the sector. But at the moment, we are also talking to our development partners like SECO, like GIZ, uh, to support the sector. In fact, SECO uh, last year even supported with machinery f so that processing can go on very well. But there's still the issue of inadequate finance for stocking and uh, stocking for the production process. Processing cashew in Africa is said to be growing fast since 2016. This development has been attributed to the conducive governmental policies, new technologies, and market lead initiatives. Going to this year, I think we, we may even lose more because they, uh, as at January 2024, there were 150 registered cashew buying companies with GCNet. And so these companies were all crumbling for the later production. Our production is just roughly around 220,000, uh, 30,000 metric tons. And if all these 150 uh, companies are buying even 10,000 metric tons, everything is gone. And they are buying it at a premium, at a higher price, which our processors cannot compete. And once you don't process, you don't add value. When we add value, we sell the cashew five, six times more than the raw nuts. And that is where we are running into difficulties with the... So the few processing companies, local processing companies, currently I'll say it's only one that is doing very well at a, a base in Afenia, Winka, that is doing very well. But because it's, it's getting support from the sector, and it's also taking advantage of uh, donor resources. But the rest are minor processing companies that are processing less than 100 metric tons a year, less than 200 metric tons a year, and it's nothing to write home about. The situation in Ghana does not reflect the general growth trajectory on the continent. For Joy Business, James Eshen.